After Kherson was abandoned by the Russian army, Ukrainian soldiers entering the city were immediately ambushed, though not by the enemy. Beleaguered residents rushed them with tearful hugs and kisses. I visited the front lines in Kherson during the last days of the battle. Miles from Russian troops, deep in a hand-dug bunker, commanders monitor troop movements via a fleet of off-the-shelf drones broadcasting over a Starlink internet connection. Once an enemy tank is identified, the location is relayed to an artillery unit, which loads a GPS-guided artillery shell provided by the United States. The results speak for themselves. Now, experts say Russia's options are decreasing rapidly. But here in Kherson, it will be a long time before things get back to normal. While residents are eager to rebuild, now is the time to celebrate. It might be almost winter, but for the people of Ukraine, today feels like springtime.